Footballers feed on the love and motivation they get from the fans, but when those fans decide to turn on you, it's like you're left on a really dark and lonely island. It's really one of the worst feelings. Can you imagine that we're starting this list with Lionel Messi? For what was definitely not the last time, Messi was booed by the home fans during a game at the Parc des Princes on the 19th of March. The fans seem to be fed up by the club's incessant failure in Europe, so they've decided to take it out on the star players, and not for the first time. Last season, after PSG got knocked out in the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League, the fans booed Messi in the next home game in the league. This season, the same thing has happened again. Messi was booed right from the time his name was read out before the start of the game, up until the end of the game. And to make matters worse, PSG lost the game against Rennes, so the anger from the fans was doubled. As soon as the full-time whistle went, Messi just walked straight down the tunnel while his teammates remained on the pitch greeting the fans. At this point, it seems less and less likely that Messi will stay in France beyond the end of this season. What do you guys think? Another person who might be leaving the club soon is Neymar. He too has been on the receiving end of boos and jeers from the PSG faithful. Neymar has never really been a favourite of the PSG fans, but one day back in 2019, when he got a really harsh treatment from the PSG supporters, he managed to shut them up. The Brazilian was booed so heavily throughout a league game because there were rumours that he wanted to return to Barcelona the next summer. But Neymar turned up with a late, late acrobatic winner, which won the fans over all over again. He would also then go on to lead the club to their first ever Champions League final that same season. But Neymar's heroics in the 2019-20 season did not stop the PSG fans from turning on him in 2022. After PSG were knocked out of the Champions League by Madrid, he, along with his good friend Messi, were booed heavily in the next game. But one person who knows all about being hated is Harry Maguire. The England centre-back was easily one of the most hated players in the entire world of football for the last couple of seasons, and you could say that the fans at Old Trafford were the ones who hated him the most. You can argue that Maguire was bad and calamitous during this time, but the fans surely went overboard with the hate. They would boo him while he's playing for United, whistle at him when he's playing for England, ridicule him on the internet, and on one reported occasion, send him bomb threats. It's hard to find another player whose mere presence got under the skin of his own fans so much, but Gareth Bale surely comes close. Love him or hate him, you've got to recognise that Bale is a Madrid legend. He scored a lot of important goals for the club and helped them win some massive trophies, but his last couple of years there were hell. The fans hated the Welshman because he didn't care and didn't even try to act like he did. He didn't get to play so much during that time, but in the few games he did play, he got booed. Why? Well, where do we even begin? Is it the infamous Wales Golf Madrid flag? Is it Bale sleeping off on the bench one time to show how unconcerned he was? Or the former Wales captain refusing to leave the club even though everybody was pretty much begging him to go? There were just so many reasons. Basically, the relationship between the fans and the player got so bad in that final couple of years. But in the case of Coutinho and the Barcelona fans, the relationship never even started good. The club broke their transfer record to get the Brazilian in, hoping he'd fill the shoes of his international teammate Neymar, but Coutinho was way off the mark. He struggled to hit his stride in Spain, so the fans got fed up and turned on him in 2019. They booed him when he was subbed on in a league game against Real Sociedad. They booed him so much in the game against Liverpool that Messi had to beg the fans not to be so hard on him. There was also that game against Getafe when he picked up an injury and had to be taken off. He was jeered so much that he had to be comforted by Jordi Alba. It got so bad that the club knew Coutinho had to leave, so he went out on loan to Bayern Munich. But then, to make Couleas hate him even more, Coutinho aided Bayern's 8-2 demolition of Barcelona in the Champions League with his two goals and one assist from off the bench in that game. After helping destroy the club, he returned but could still never find his form. That's when they just knew he had to go. Now, all the guys we've mentioned so far have been hated by one fanbase, but Lukaku has seen the wrath of different fanbases. While he was at United, the fans turned on him and started bullying him incessantly because of his weight. He left United, went to Inter, where he did exploits, and then returned to the Premier League with Chelsea. Halfway into his homecoming season, things went sour between him and the fans. First of all, he stopped hitting the target, and on top of that, there came an interview he did where he was fawning over Inter Milan and even promising to come back. The Chelsea fans were sick. The relationship between the player and the coach as well as the fans broke down, and the fans would often boo and jeer the striker. And that was even when Tuchel decided he was worthy of playing at all. And Lukaku is surely not the only player Chelsea have hated in recent times. They also hated Jorginho. 
They often complained about his poor work rate, misplaced passes, errors leading to goals in big games like against Arsenal and United. Also, he missed penalties in big matches like against Liverpool and Man City that didn't do much to endear him to them. So most of the fans were happy when it was announced that he would be on his way, but perhaps they're not so happy now that he seems to be doing great at Arsenal. But with Jorginho gone, Chelsea have channeled their hate onto other people, and Mason Mount appears to be in the hot seat right now. The Cobham graduate, who was once a fan favourite, has experienced a serious drop in form in recent times. And on top of that, he's been asking for more wages, so the fans have turned on him because many feel he doesn't deserve what he's already being paid. The relationship between the player and the fans has gotten so bad that a lot of fans are already asking that he be kicked out this summer and he really might leave with the way it's looking. The 24-year-old midfielder has hired a new agent, and neither he nor Chelsea seem like they're ready to budge on the cash issue. What do you think will happen here though? Will he stay? Will he go? Let us know what you think in the comments. Let's now head back to Barca, where it seems like Culeas are no longer scared to turn on their club legends. The hate and vitriol that Sergio Busquets, Gerard Piquet, Jordi Alba and Sergio Roberto have received from the Barcelona faithful in the last three years is actually crazy. Each of these guys is a legend of the club in their own right, but the fans seem to be fed up with them. It was hatred from the fans that led Piquet to retire abruptly mid-season, but as far as the fans are concerned, that's just one down, three more to go. When rumours surfaced that Busquets could be extending his contract, the fans nearly brought the roof down. Anyway, after having looked at the players all through this list, we will now end with a coach who's currently feeling the wrath of the support base. Antonio Conte seems to be begging to be sacked by Spurs with everything he's been saying and doing recently. He failed to get past AC Milan in the round of 16 of the Champions League this season and the fans were not happy about that at all, so they booed him. To make matters worse, while Spurs were looking for just one goal late in the game to at least force the game into extra time, Conte decided to bring on a defender. That decision was met with whistles and boos from the fans. And remember, before that game, they got knocked out of the FA Cup by Sheffield United who play in the Championship. And then after it, they went on to throw a two-goal lead in the Premier League against relegation threatened Southampton. Conte's statement in the press conference after that game did absolutely nothing to assuage the fans. They're calling for his head right now, and it's looking almost certain that he'll be released of his duties very soon. Now, quickly hop in the comments and give us more names of players who are or were hated by their own fans. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content, and we'll catch you in the next one.